Alewives spend most of their life in salt water, but they're born in fresh water, um, and they spend their first summer um, in fresh water, and then when the babies are about three or four inches long, they swim back, they swim out of the ponds where they're born into the ocean, and they spend three years there before coming back as adults. Uh, currently, Rhode Island Fish and Wildlife is restocking uh, the Kikamewit Reservoir with um, airwives from out-of-state sources. Uh, airwives are important to both the marine and freshwater ecosystems. Uh, they provide an important forage species to not only the freshwater uh, predator fish, but also to the saltwater fish like striped bass and bluefish. They are also very important forage to the uh, predatory birds, ospreys and herons. An anatomous fish is a fish that spends their adult life out in the marine waters and returns to their freshwater habitat to spawn. Uh, following spawning, the adults return to sea, but the juveniles spend the summer months utilizing the critical uh, nursery habitat in the freshwater systems. Uh, in the fall, or following a rain event during the summer, the juveniles then exit the freshwater systems and return to the ocean where they'll spend three to four years before repeating the cycle. They can smell it even out in the ocean. As they come in closer to shore, they can tell which river they're from and what pond they came from. And the problem with that is that when people started putting up dams on these streams back in the 1700s, each alewife run was wiped out because that's where they went. In 1882, the Kikamuit received a new dam. This time, the dam had no gate in it and it presented a serious obstacle to runs up the river. This new dam was built by the Bristol and Warren Waterworks Company to create a supply of fresh water that could then be pumped via pipes to the towns of Bristol and Warren. This would be the first time that running water would be introduced into businesses and households in those towns. It was a great benefit to the towns, but it was terrible for the fish runs because this new dam was built so that salt water could not come upstream. And that was the situation up until just a couple of years ago when a fish ladder was built to carry fish, migrating fish, up and over the dam. The attraction of the fresh water is what's drawing them to the fishway. So in the spring as they come up, they will be pooling in this area and they will begin to enter the fishway in order to, in order to gain access to the freshwater pond. Over the past four or five years, we stock it each spring with adults from out of state sources and typically we put in around a thousand fish. The, uh, we anticipate that those fish will spawn, return to sea, but the juveniles will be imprinted to the new system which will be Kikamuit River and in three to four years, the adults will return to repeat the cycle. We do this, we like to do this for five or six years till we can begin getting some of the wild fish mixed in with some of the stock fish and hopefully over time we will create a self-sustaining run of river heron where stocking will not be needed. We're bringing back to our landscape here, back to our enjoyment of the river, a very important piece. One that will be a benefit to us in many ways, it'll be a benefit to the surrounding environment and one that makes the Kikamuit River in many ways whole again the way it has not been for centuries.